Now let's go to the second understanding. And that is the understanding of relevant scriptures. Two understanding that builds faith. It is the understanding of what faith is itself. And then the understanding of relevant scriptures. And, and, and I mentioned already. Scriptures that are relevant to your area of desired result. Scriptures that are relevant to the area where you want to grow faith. The understanding of those scripture. Now, in, the, in, in understanding this understanding of relevant scriptures, there are two things to note. <laughs> there is a way of approaching scripture that may not produce faith. It, it will be helpful but may not directly produce faith. And there is a way of approaching script that produces faith. Anybody interested in knowing? Let's start with the other one. The, 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 the approach that may not produce faith, even though it is profitable. Please don't take it out of context. Number one, let's look at the first approach that is profitable but not necessarily produce faith. First, ordinary reading of scripture may not build faith. Ordinary reading. It will enhance your knowledge base of scripture. And position you for deeper study but may not directly build faith. The ordinary reading of scripture may not directly build faith. It will enhance your overall knowledge base and also equip you with what to study later. But directly, it may not build faith. Am I communicating? Secondly, the memorization of scripture directly may not build faith. It will also enhance your general knowledge of the Bible and equip you with what to meditate on when you need. But it may not directly build faith. May not not you know what i mean you came out, you read various passages and you are very very knowledgeable in scripture it doesn't equate to faith you have memorized a lot of passages what that does for you is when you need a scripture on health a scripture on anointing or this or that out of what you have memorized you can pull it out and meditate on it to produce results. Am I communicating? Your search to look for, I'm looking for this scripture or that. That search is reduced. But in terms of directly building faith, it may not. So what builds faith? Are you interested? If you are not, I can stop here now. Alright, in fact, let's stop here now. Yes, we cannot stop here because it's like coming to the edge of the river Jordan. So what is it that will directly build faith? That is scriptural access that builds faith. First, deeper insight of scripture for clearer comprehension through the study of the word builds faith. Deeper insight of scripture for clearer comprehension through the study of the word of God builds faith. We saw that already in Acts chapter 8 verse 30 to 31 and verse 35 to 37. That is 
You stepped into scripture. And your understanding of scripture is deeper. Deeper than usual. One day, I saw in scripture that the weight of gold that came to Solomon yeah, 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 yeah. Or somewhere like around First Kings chapter ten, verse. 13. The weight of gold that came. I looked at it again, cleaned my eye. Look at it. See, person sitting, and gold came to him. Ordinary people go for money, but this was a man that money was coming to. Ay, 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 ay. From that day, but it dawned on me that you can walk in the covenant with God and what others are looking for can look for you. From that day forward, maybe it has happened before that day, but since that day, things meet me everywhere. I've seen somebody running and pursuing me at New York airport. Excuse me, sir. I have something. I have something to put in your hand. Germany airport. A place I have never been before. For the first time, somebody is running. Excuse me, sir. I have something to put in your hand. Some airport in Nigeria, somewhere here. Oh, lady. Who? Oh. Ah, I'm so glad to see you. Please hold on. I need to. He put something in foreign currency in many zeros. Not one, not two, not three. In many zeros. At a, and I, my, what was in my heart is, did you plan to see me? Help the man there. Were you planning that I'm going to meet this man? So you 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 gathered some things together, waiting for when to meet him. Not necessarily. I've seen somebody say, "Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry to embarrass you. I have this envelope. I'm just so sorry to embarrass you. What a good embarrassment! Take your seat. Now this is what I'm saying." It is not enough that you are titan. It is not enough that you are a giver. It is not enough that you... What have you seen that guarantees your result? Deeper understanding of scripture for clearer comprehension. Because it is what you comprehend that you can apprehend. That scripture that I just shared now, the weight of gold that came to Solomon, I'm going to refresh it tonight. You know how you refresh computer? Somebody say amen. Deeper insight for clearer comprehension. Through the study of the word of God, it builds faith. All of a sudden, you saw it new. As if you haven't read that passage before. It hits you. It just hits you. It builds faith. Somebody say amen. What else builds faith? 